Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall study the concept of finding and positioning pairs of integers and other rational numbers on a coordinate plane. We already know the meaning of coordinate plane, quadrants of coordinate plane and signs of numbers in order pairs and their location. And now we will learn how to graphically plot the ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. For this, in the first step, we will draw a horizontal line with the signs of arrows on both the ends on a graph paper and label it as x-axis. So we have drawn a horizontal line and label it as x-axis. Then in the second step, we will draw a vertical line with the sign of arrows on both the ends intersecting at the center of this horizontal line perpendicularly and we will name it as Y axis. So we have drawn a vertical line that is the Y axis which is intersecting the X axis at this point and this point of intersection is called the origin whose coordinates are 0, 0 now we will write 0 at this point. We can call this point as the origin or the starting point. Now on the x-axis, on the right side of 0, we will write the positive numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And on the left side of 0, we will write the negative numbers that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So like a number line, we have written these numbers on this horizontal axis. Now on the y axis, we will write negative numbers below 0. That is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. And we will write the positive numbers above 0. That is 1, 2, 3 and so on. Now for plotting any point, we will start by putting our pencil on origin. And then we will plot the x coordinate by moving to the left of origin if the number is negative and moving to the right of origin if the number is positive and the number tells how many units to move. Then in the next step we will plot the y coordinate that is when we have reached to the x coordinate, then from that point we will move on to the y coordinate by moving downwards if the number is negative and moving upwards if the number is positive. Now let us take the x coordinate of a point as 3 and the y coordinate of a point as 2. Now we will start from the origin. Now x coordinate is positive. So we will move 3 units to the right of origin. And we have reached on this point. And now from this point we will move 2 units upwards as y coordinate is also positive. And we have reached to this point. 
So we will put a dot at this point. And now we will label this point as the point whose x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is 2. Now let us see one more example in which we have to locate the point 2 minus 3 on the graph. Now for locating this point, first of all we have to draw a horizontal and a vertical axis whose point of intersection is called the origin. Now we will write the numbers on the x-axis and on the y-axis as we have discussed earlier. Now here the x-coordinate is positive and y-coordinate is negative. So for locating this point on the graph, we have to move two units to the right of origin on the x-axis and then three units downwards. So we will start from the origin and then we will move two units to the right. So we have reached at this point now from this point, we will move three units downwards. One, two, and three. And we have reached at this point. So we will put a dot at this point. So this is the point whose x coordinate is two and y coordinate is minus three. Now let us plot the point minus 3, 0 on the graph. Now here, the x coordinate is minus 3, y coordinate is 0. So again, we will start from the origin. Now as the x coordinate is minus 3, so we will move 3 units on the left of origin. And we have reached at this point. Then the y coordinate is 0. So we do not move any unit up or down. So we will put a dot at this point. And this is the point whose x coordinate is minus 3 and y coordinate is 0. Now if we have to locate a point whose coordinates are 0, 2 on the graph, now again we will start from the region. Now as the x coordinate is 0, this means we do not move a right or left. That is we will stay at the origin. And then since y coordinate is 2, so we will move 2 units upwards. And we have reached at this point. So we will put a dot at this point and this is the point whose x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is 2. Now suppose if we have to plot a point whose x coordinate is 1.5 and y coordinate is 2 on the graph. Now we know the method of plotting a rational number like 1.5, 2.5 etc. on a number line. So we will follow the same procedure for plotting this number on this graph. Now here the x coordinate is 1.5 which lies between 1 and 2 and y coordinate is 2. And now for plotting this point on the graph we will start from the origin and then we will move 1.5 units to the right of origin and we have reached at this point. Now from this point we will move 2 units upwards and we will reach at this point. So we will put a dot at this point. So this is the point whose x coordinate is 1.5 and y coordinate is 2. 
So in this session, we have learned the concept of finding and positioning pairs of integers and other rational numbers on a coordinate plane. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.